these are the benefits why we must read God's word. Father God, thank you once again for giving us and letting us read your word. Merciful Father, thank you so much for your wonderful word. Anoint me with your Holy Spirit. As I read your word, let me hear your voice speaking to me. Give me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord God. May your children who are listening right now, may also, Lord God, enter listening to your word. May your word be the joy of my heart and the life to my heart. Give me strength to build my life in your word. Speak to me. May I rejoice in the blessedness of hearing your word and keeping it. As we go, Father, with the word of God, please wait with me, stay with me, and pray with me that I may continue sharing the word of God. Did you ever ask this question to yourself? How important is God, God's word to you? When we humble ourselves before scripture, acknowledging that it has been given to us by the living God, we will receive the following blessings. First, God's words lead us to salvation. Although many of us came to Christ by hearing about Him, from another person or maybe your pastor may be member of the church the way of salvation is clearly revealed by simply reading the Bible so I encourage you brother and sister friends out there please start now reading the Bible and the Word of God in John 3 16 and in Romans 10 9 we are all saved by believing the truth of Scripture whether we read it ourselves or are taught it by someone else. So, how I wish that more of you, your brother and sister, also boldly share the word of God that made someone hear it also from our lips and it will benefit into our God's salvation. John 3.16 for God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life or eternal life. How I wish, brother and sister, that you start to meditate this word and have in your heart always this verse, John 3, 16, everybody aware of this. Thank you so much, Father God. In Romans 10 9 that if you or if we confess with our mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved so very clear my brother and sister that if we just even believe in our heart that great God raised him from the dead we already saved the very important we have to believe in him we have to have faith in him as in first peter chapter 1 verse 23 for you have been born again not of seed which is perishable but imperishable that is through the living and enduring word of god the scripture guide our steps as we can see in Psalm 1, chapter 119, verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. If we read and heed the Lord's instructions, He will show us where to go, what to say, and how to make decisions. Before I know the word of God, it's really difficult for me. I don't know where to go and what to say and not easy to make decisions but after knowing the word of God it gives me confidence 
to do according to His will. His word also reveals when we're heading the wrong direction and warns us to and warn us of the consequences of continuing down that path. And when they compare God's word to being a light in on a path, that pathway is life within the details of Psalm 119, abiding by God's word in every instance creates a more fulfilling life. Wow! Napaka-clear mga kapatid. If we abide the word of God, really creates more fulfilling into our lives. So please, I encourage you, brother and sister who are listening right now, please do read the word of God and you will have also these benefits. Number three, God's word directs us. to wisdom. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Psalm 119 verse 130. A scripture is our greatest protection. Napaka-clear mga kapatid that is, a scripture is our great protection. It's like a shield before us guarding our way and warning of danger. But if we neglect reading and obeying the word, we won't be able to distinguish right from wrong, from wrong which is very true. So in here, very clear and very true. So I hope and pray that we may also learn to share the word of God. To read the word of God. Number four, it lifts our burden because the Lord is interested in every aspect of our lives. We can run to his word in our pain, grief, loneliness, or sickness and receive help in our times of trouble. In Psalm 119 verse 28. Number five, the word of God brings joy. If we love the word, we'll find great joy and comfort in reading it. Psalm 119 verse, verse 111. When facing tough situations and discouragement, our first response will be to open the scriptures. Even if we don't know where to read, the Lord will guide us to pass eight weeks can restore our hope and joy. Once we experience how the scripture can change sorrow into joy, our love for the Lord and His word increase and overflow in praise and gratitude. Wow! Di pa napakasarap mga kapatid. So please, I encourage you to read the word of God. Start now. Do not delay. You can find joy. Choose joy if you know God's word and if you have faith in God. Very clear, mga kapatid. In Peter, I just uh, give additional about joy. First Peter chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. Though you have not seen him, you have loved him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an express inexpressible and glorious joy for you are receiving the end result of your faith the salvation of your souls and our number six is about peace the scriptures give peace perhaps the most desired position in the world is peace but it can only be found in the law those who love your law have great peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. Psalm 119, verse 165. Peace means to be bound to something, and when that something is the word of God, 
we are bound to Him and experience the peace Jesus promised to His disciples. John 14 verse 27 Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Peace in God, Jesus speaking in me, for you may have peace. You cannot escape our time, but in me you have peace, and that is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus has given you peace today. The word will tell that you have money, have peace. It's wrong. You must have peace. My peace I give you. Don't be afraid because I give you peace. That's the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just give you some explanation from the word of God. This is a wonderful promise and a life-giving command. Jesus has troubled the disciples by explaining about his impending death. He has also comforted them by promising the Holy Spirit who will teach you and me all things and remind of everything I have said to you. In John 14, 16, he has promised that though he is living them, he will not leave them as orphans, but will come to them. John 14, 18. So let's pray. Father God, once again, I want to thank you. I want to praise you, Lord God, for giving me this heart deserve to share your word while studying, while learning, Lord God. That's the heart of your children who are listening right now, that they may also start reading your word, that they may also boldly share your word. Oh, Father God, I do claim and declare that who are listening right now, oh, Father God, they may step forward and start right now reading your word, Lord God, sharing your word, oh, Father God, and helping may they also experience the benefits that I have experienced. I want to thank you, Father God. I want to give you all glory and honor, Father God. Thank you for all the life, O oh Lord God, of your children who are listening right now. Bless them according to your will. I want to thank you, Father God. I want to give you all glory and honor. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen.